today we get the acting publicity secretary for the all people's congress apc party cdi at tunis you go can't tell me but what in them party think after the pprc ruling where some member them that the party been get some concern them but the new constitution well september 18 and 19 last year the all people's congress be meet the mckinney now our um emergency delegates conference usai then be go look inside the new constitution and been grief or team them with the inside the new constitution after that the party been saying this new constitution na pprc we na the umbrella body for all political party them immediately after that some member them na the all people's congress been care 11 objection them na the pprc where they say they're not grief for where they inside the new constitution well the pprc been sit with the party executive and the member they will be get the 11 objection there then be look inside the objection them and later then begin the ruling Usai then been sent waiting the rule to the executive. After that, Tuesday, February 1st this year, the party be meet now an emergency NAC meeting. Usai then been grieved for the PPRC ruling. When I all lent here, so they can talk this morning and waiting next for the APC as an opposition party. Good morning, one more time, Mr. Tunis, and welcome again to the studio. Good morning again, Khadija. Thank you very much for getting us. Still. All right. After that um, brief into the Wadongi, but to say the All People's Congress come out as a party for letting the outside and they so now for go adopt the PPRC ruling na uh, on an emergency NAC meeting on a be all last Tuesday. Firstly, how the party be received when they get information from the PPRC say so member them don't come out again after the McKinney emergency delegates conference and get what eleven objection them but on a new constitution. Well, I mean, um, clearly not to be good news for the party at all because, um, as you know, the delegates' conference where we go now, McKinney, have been caught all that we for go that conference day. And as a party, for adopt this constitution as something we've done there on for quite a while. I mean, the first attempt we would make for adopt um, the constitution have been January 2020. And um, a group of party members, they also carry go court. We make the slam injunction on we. So we make it not happen. And since then, we don't do court. And um, in September, like you rightly stated, Justice Fisher uh, being there for order that we go McKinney and um, adopt this constitution. But before that, we go through certain things that we also order we for do, such as. Um, electing delegates from constituencies for ensure say we get a well constituted delegate for go adopt the constitution. So we do that one day and as per law, the law say after the adoption you get for send the one way the delegates that will adopt to the PPRC. So the PPRC will publish them at the National Gazette. And allow people we get objections for also do that, and we don't go through that stage day. The we been get eleven people we object, and um, PPRC be send their objections then they to the party, where the party sit down, look at all the objections then and respond to their objectors then they. After we respond, PPRC been get for call the party and the one they will object. Uh, to meetings, and uh, that meeting in a three term it happen, and um, then get for Yeri all my own side, and at the end of the day, the PPRC make their rulings. We uh, inside our ruling day, then give directives, and also they make some suggestions then to the party. So the directives then the party bound for abide by the directives then we then give it, but for the objections it up to we whether. Um, a day in the interest of the party, we go, uh, you know, adopt the one the way we feel you know, in the interest. We're not bound for accept them. So, now that can we go, McKinney? Before we can talk about the directives, where you say the PPRC being given, although it be left on as a party, for go according to them. Let we talk about their objectors there. So, where the news just broke out, especially in the social media, say. Some member they again on a party don't get objection them for sake of the new constitution. Most people believe say 
na delay in tactics for hold the party to ransom let them not go before with the party activities them for example for all on a um, national delegate conference so we will pick new party executive we go lead the party into the next general elections una as an executive una buy to the um, assumption then the way most people especially the young people in our party get well um we as a party we law abiding and like i said earlier the law states say when we don't adopt the constitution you for send them to pprc for let the pprc gazette and allow people for object so then one way object the, the object as per law whatever that the intent uh, behind the objections may not be able to tell but the we then do not as per the right and also as per law so it be up to we as a party for ensure say we shall stay within the confines of the law that is by responding to the objections then they and also by making sure we attend the ruling where the pprc say so now for come to your question so for we as a party it be also the up to we after the ruling for appeal to the pprc ruling for whether states say we not accept or we accept we get right for appeal but for let we not delay further now that make nakmit then look at all of the 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 directives from the ruling and say you know what we need for make a progress as a party people they look so much forward to we the membership of the party the entire nation for let we come together and move forward so for let we not delay further let us move on as a party and everybody will be there now the meeting they agree and unanimously they all agree say we for adopt the directives given to us by the pprc and ensure say we do the amendments then for reflect the directives then they so we'll go resubmit the constitution back to the pprc because then get for regazette and back and also um and not only after that it will become the working document of the APC. The PPRC already states and say, when we do all the amendments, say, yeah, we send them back to them, then publish them again at the National Gazette. Two weeks after that, now in the Constitution, will go into effect. So we the race against time. We don't look at the directives. We don't look at the suggestions. And I will tell you, say, we also don't make the changes for reflect for then directives then. For the benefit of listeners, who are the objectors and what are some of the things that we then object against? Okay, then plenty. I mean, some of the, the, the objectors, are like for example, you get Dara Tombo Bangura, we are um, one of the objectors, then we um, begin for, you know, object to certain things then and for us, say, certain provisions that could be expunged from the constitution. Um, he, like for example, when we be go Makini, the delegates and we vote say affiliate bodies forget delegate status. Now that Tomo Bangura and one of the people and we object to this say because affiliate bodies then Boku and you know we not put any amount and all along they don't be just observers at national delegates conference and not forget delegate status. But um, in the end, PPRC be rule on that say okay yes because of the the position where the party give as to the importance of affiliate bodies that the party then can get delegate status only that we get for put a cap that uh, whatever delegate status we give them the total delegates will go give them not for exceed two percent of uh, the total delegates where the constitution make provision for so for example if we get 2,000 delegates that the constitution, the affiliate bodies do not forget more than 40, which is 2% of 2,000. So then kind of thing, then you get Ahmed Sisse, when an other person we um, object, you get Honorable Abdul Karim Kamara, himself object, you get Maria Tubangura, Ishmael al Sankor, Maria Makabo, Dr. Sylvia Blyden. These are some of the people we object and then get different different things that we then suggest for either remove or for add or for make 
uh, adjustment. You, you mentioned say plenty of people object when a member of 11 the party. people. 11 people object. Somebody with a listener go left for ask, what mm-hmm. not be the level of consultation before we put this together where you don't reach this stage where people they object? Like, like I stated, the constitution don't go through several stages. We don't on this for over two years. We start this process in 2019 when the National Advisory Committee been given a mandate to the Constitutional Review Committee for review and amend the current constitution. We publish them. After we don't complete the zero draft for let people are sending their input. But before even the zero draft, the Constitutional Review Committee been get two committee, subcommittees inside it. Then we get the consultation committee, we mean I've been the chairperson, and also then we get the drafting committee. We now the consultation committee go around this country and consult with the membership of the party. And also send out after we don't complete the zero draft, we send out the draft for let people then send in the input. That happened. Not forget, see, we'll be complete that stage. We go put lock off or adopt. Then take we go court. We had an injunction. We make we not do it. We go back. We start the process almost all over again. Some of the people we can we go court. We incorporate them into the constitutional review committee. Then self can we sit down. We do we input. We publish again. People send in their input. We go knock. Knock self go. Then look at the constitution. Then self put their input. And then we publish another draft. After that one day, we still did court. Justice Adrian Fisher in, in ruling. In self tell we say we for publish the constitution back. For let people then look at her so that anybody will get anything for add or remove. We'll get the opportunity for do so before we go to the emergency national delegate conference will go September last year. And we do that one day. People will be get something, then put on. When we go back to McKinney, the delegates that will be there, a lot of people bring in proposals them on the floor. Some of them proposals then they delegates then vote them, they accept them, some of them they reject. Like for example, the issue about affiliate bodies getting delegate status. Now, proposal will come on the floor, now McKinney, and the delegates then vote on her overwhelmingly. They adopt CS. Indeed, affiliate bodies will get delegate status. So the constitution go through plenty yes. stages and a lot of consultation happen. But like I said, this now that the law say, that even after that stage, the way don't go PPRC, people get right for object. And it not necessarily means say it will be a member of the APC. It can be anybody because once this constitution become public, now a public document. Mr. So Tunis, anybody can object as per law. And now that happened. Mr. Tini, just like how you say, this constitution go to different stages and at some point, one hour for that one stage, other issue, they come up where they hold the party we make on not able for do on our activities. Then people don't really follow the APC party activity calendar. Go agree say by now this stage on a day so on are not supposed for the day again. Because of all the issues that we don't come up, court case upon court cases, then a lot of people when are APC sympathizers and believe say some political undertone they under, some political interference from other parties they under. We make on a still day also on a day so. As an executive, and you belong to the APC party, we now one of the main opposition party. Then you believe, say, na political undertone, they under all the on a court cases there, so on they go through. Well, uh, one thing I go say now that as uh, the leadership of the party, whether that not the case or not, we focus on making sure that uh, we remain law abiding and stay within the confines of the law. Clearly, the stage will they will for them pass a long, 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 long term. I mean, imagine if we be adopt the constitution January 2020 as we've been first um, attempt for do. Of course, we for them complete all we lower level elections by now, and of, and we for pro- possibly don't get flag bearer a long time, and we for them focus on national issues 100 percent. You know, especially with all that is going on in this country, we're not right. 
We for all focus on national issues 100%. But in any case, with all of them challenges, then, yeah, so the leadership don't continue for lead the party in a way that, uh, you know, we go and sure say the law as it is bet, we also, they make them clear to the public and anybody who in a person will respect law, say the party don't stay within the confines of the law and we don't obey and respect the law as provided for our national constitution and other laws that will guide activities of political parties. And we don't continue for call on membership for remain patient, and they have been. Uh, now that make at this stage, we in the leadership um, decide say we don't get for allow further delays. We the move ahead for accept their rulings. They are so their uh, uh, directives. They are so clean up the constitution for reflect you know and publish them again. We hope say once we pass this stage. It will bring we together. Then one, we get issues. They don't get them bite repeatedly in this So the question is, Mr. Tunis, the leadership believes, say, all them delay away they happen on a party. It gets political on that one. That's the question. We don't want to insinuate that. But uh, we not go also say that it's not possible. It is possible there might be political undertones. It is possible also people just, you know, they do them because of uh, the fact, say, they feel, say, certain people enough for their offices or they feel, say, you know, certain people and suppose for whole offices. And the only way when then things they are don't happen, you know, it will make it easy. But we focus on two things. One, making sure that we come together as a party. And two, we ensure, say, we make the level playing field for everybody we want to vie for any office not the party. So that at the end of the day, when we don't go through the democratic process, you go see say the process be fair, you know, it be transparent, and it give everybody we qualify the opportunity for contest and the opportunity for vote and be voted for. Um Mr. Tunis, now let me talk about some of the things them we um, when I've been talking about during the emergency NAC meeting, when I've been on after we the PPR said we don't give the ruling and send them to the executive. After this emergency NAC meeting, waiting on a member them for expect based on some of the things them when I've been discussed during the meeting. Okay, so um, we, we we go look at the directives and clearly some of the things that we then we adopt now, uh, McKinney get for change um, a little bit like for example <clears throat> when you come to the the young people eh? initially the name the national youth league now we don't know i'm for but in mckinney a, uh, a proposal been come for let them change the name to national young people's congress and then be adopts that name change day so somebody object to that name change day and um you know the person will object also say they forget an age limit for people with for the other category day. But um, even where the PPRC adopt the name change with a you know slight change from National Young People's Congress to National Young Congress, they also adopt say indeed yes, there should be an age limit way for the within 18 to 35 years. So this now be one major change will happen. So the, the young people and now anybody we want for the that category they for maybe be a member you get for the within eighteen to thirty five years of age. So for vie for position or for belong to that group or that now one. So then kind thing then the people go expect say you know we get for do then changes then they at the constitution which we don't already do. So today we get for meet again with the PPRC for submit the clean version of the constitution reflecting the directives with the Giwi. Um, so after that one day, if PPRC agree with all of the changes as the direct we, then they will send them at the government printers for publish them again at the National Gazette. And it will, it will go into effect two weeks after that, the day with the publisher. So now, 
After that, we go expect say this go bring we closer and we go begin for prepare for we lo lower level elections. But that again, therefore, depend on how soon we will get ruling from court because we still lay court by the way. After and this, you say on the hope say go bring on a closer to on a lower level election them so they on a reach to the flag bearer elections. Usa right. delegates them go vote or maybe select or that will be on a next flag bearer for the all people's congress let me talk about issues them where people don't they see they happen from on a party member them any term where pe uh, um, people don't they see say the apc party don't they make progress for resolve the issues them all of a sudden you go see a particular member again from the party maybe take to the social media begin the right issues but issues them when a stumbling block na the party in this time, when they expect say, other problems again, apart from the court case, we una get pending, go arise for any of una member based on the meeting una just come up. Huh? We don't have hope for that because I mean, except if uh, somebody want for deliberately delay the process now, but the, the the membership of the party and the general public will agree say the party really don't, the leadership of the party don't really bend over backwards for accept and tolerate everybody in opinion in observations in input you know whether or not for the constitution or whether or not for general reforms within the party and also for allow everybody for get voice and this constitution really give a lot of power to the membership of the party plenty of things then they will they inside away you know make them really inclusive and transparent and also for give confidence to we as members of the party for say we get voice we get power we don't the changes that we want reflected and the pprc also you know do a lot of observations the way we self look at as the party will feel say some go guide we going forward so we really not expect any we not go expect any more you know um problems from anybody the membership because we really don't go through all of the stages as required by law and we really ensure say people then they, they get say especially when it comes to the constitution and really i always they say the leadership of the party get an open door policy and then they get for continue until we get election for elect new executive members. We'll not get any more selection, by the way. It's election for every position uh, within the party from the lowest level all the way to the position of flag bearer. So that in itself enough for give we all confidence. And um, the, the manner in which we don't be democratic and open in the way we would don't they do things to this stage we would don't reach also for able to give we all confidence, say, the APC as a party way, you know, get a lot of respect for a membership and um, it plays a lot of value on the the contributions where membership they, they make to the party and also get a lot of value and respect for the people of this country, their contribution where they, they make for the development of Salon. So we believe in that one day. We, we respect that ideology day and that make we will continue for be, you know, open-minded, we will continue for allow people forget and say, so that at the end of the day, nobody no will get reason for set me back again. Talking about lower level election and also talking about court case and looking at the 2023 election day around the corner, the party you say still the court. And earlier you mentioned, say, now party get for order for making all an emergency conference for go talk about things and we for the inside the constitution. APC as one of the oldest parties in Africa, how the leadership feel at this moment that actions or activities of the party get for be dictated by court order? It's not a pleasant moment for we at all. I mean, because a lot of them things they are all done, they deal with these are things who can address in-house without a uh, having because when 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 courts give you order for do something you are restricted to that order they you know able you know do any adjustment will probably go even ensure more peace 
and quiet within the party. You be restricted to the others who the courts don't give you, and you get for go by that because if you if you flout any of the others, you can be held into contempt of court. So not a pleasant thing for we, but in any case, we law abiding at the situation that they will find ourselves based on the actions of certain members of a party. So we still go by that. So now that make us say with the hope that when this constitution go into effect and when we finally get ruling from Justice Fisher, we hope say going forward we we'll not go find ourselves in that situation where somebody else could grab again and carry go court. You know, for 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 whatever reason, we go able just like how we able to sit on and deal with the constitution and allow people and get their input. We hope say we go able now for the address we issues then we is the day so that uh, we not go get further delays as far you, as we activity. You say nothing we wanna use for dress in house. What thing happened this time around? We wanna not able handle an in house. Well, I mean, you know, for whatever reasons. Uh, you know, certain people and just be feel say courts not the only solution and then decide for go courts. You know, say we get one court case for us, we go to we negotiate, in the end we able to pull that matter that court. Two days later somebody else go court, we make stay today with a court. Yeah. So it is not like we not try, but certain people for for whatever reasons be feel say the only way now for go courts. But we don't learn bitter lesson from that, you know, because uh, you wouldn't spend two years in court. Two years. Imagine what progress we would not make as a party for these two years who they court, if we're not being the court. You know, we for not able to address so many issues going forward. But, you know, we don't learn from that. It don't make we stronger. We are more democratic. We are more transparent. And we will continue in this manner. Um, CD, before we go for that break, earlier you've been talking about the issues them of or the activities or action of party members them for take the party to court. And they say this now one will not be the settled in house. As a leadership of the party, we in any way don't sit and look back as to waiting exactly the lead the membership them for persistently or continuously take the party to court. We oh, definitely, I mean, you, you find out, say, after the elections, the leadership of the party put together a whole committee, a nine man committee, for go around this country. And you really try for ascertain which are some of the problems we will face as a party and why, in fact, we even lost the elections, the presidential election in 2018. And the nine-man committee make plenty recommendations in their report. One of them are for review with constitution. So from then on, that singular move they self for where the leadership of the party take, show we all say them be done ready and willing and open the doors for listening and tolerate whatever it is that we're not concerned from the membership of the party. So this is something where they don't do repeatedly. And even when people go court, you see how the, the leadership of the party on several occasions call meetings for, you know, talk with the people for negotiate and for make sure, say, we settle the matter in us. And that is how we were able to get the first case out of court, where unfortunately just two days later somebody else take it to court. So not to for say um, the leadership no done the try for listening and accommodate people. This is not something where they don't they do repeatedly. Party and democracy. this is something we will continue to do repeatedly for ensure say we move on in peace and unity as a party. Party democracy in one way, most of them remember they made a crisis a lacking in the party, the APC party, especially during on attend the way on a day in governance. And immediately after the elections, people then begin to see some of them remember them they drag the leadership or maybe the party go to court for letting go seek redress. With all in court cases there, according to you, you soon don't learn bitter lessons them. You think, say, them member there, so we've been boldly going to court, say, while the court interpret this certain um, side of the constitution or let the court come inside and settle some of the things they wouldn't be aggrieved with. You think, say, don't force the APC party for begin practice party democracy? We always done the practice, you know, um, 
internal democracy within the party. Every political party, even every institution, gets documents the way they guide the institutions. And in the case of the APC, we get a constitution where we they deal with, we clearly state how, you know, with internal democracies, they happen. A lot of people not be agree with certain provisions then now that constitution they now that make you know the issue of amendments come up we know that we don't do now for reflect some of the democratic aspirations we certain members then we get for we they want foresee inside the the amendments they will make to the constitution so that now a process where we almost a complete now and i don't make us say we hope that uh when we complete them process they are so we not go get issue again for begin go court or for begin get disagreements we for now organize we self come together as a party for move forward for begin for focus on how we go elect we next officers then we get for serve the party for the next three years it's crucial because the people that we will get for elect, now then get for take we into elections. Apart the from elections. electing on our national officers, them citizens, them they look up to on a party as APC party say on a get a responsibility. One pound a major responsibility as an opposition party. Now for all the government accountable, put them on their toes on issues them where on a thing say no they happen right. But over the years, complaint they don't begin to come out for member of the public, they say the APC party don't they fail for do that they for operate as an opposition. The farthest soon I can go now for just issue out press releases. Well, you get for you know, say as as an opposition, we don't they face a lot of challenge, you know, as far as with this current administration but in any case challenges like waiting about you know how many court cases we get you know how how much um you know they don't close the democratic space the as court far case as, and they restrict to now for speak as an opposition no we they speak but like you say i mean speaking you know that's something we would only do repeatedly in parliament we opposition MPs, they're robust in challenging bills the way they go parliament, but we see how they bulldoze. As party executives, we don't challenge every government's issue will no say they are against the will of the people. When I see the censors, how we robustly oppose the censors to a point that we call for national boycott. And even where we speak repeatedly, then people are continuing for do the illegal census. And today, it don't turn out that we are right because the census don't turn out for be a waste of resources. I will tell you categorically, say, as I speak now, they're not even able to complete 60% of the population of this country as far as that census concerned. So apart from the fact, say, they waste donor resources, even we own $5 million, we then go take just because they want to move on with a census way, we repeatedly tell and say, no, right? I mean, that in itself is a waste. And we don't see how they also go spend $7.5 million unnecessary on AFCON. We don't know able to account up to today. We see how much the audit reports don't show, you know, embezzlement, blatant theft. You know, all of them things that we don't they highlight, the human rights records, to this day, we're not able to get the true what happened at Padenba Road, where so many inmates they lost their lives from that massacre day. All of these things, these are things we would only challenge the government on national issues, human rights issues, the harassment of women in this country. Women we get high repute and respect internationally. We get with Auditor General Tate today. You know, we're not able to get inroads as well. Right. Would they we come back? Mayor, we then they repeatedly harass. Would they we come don't back? They challenge them repeatedly. Would they come but back of to course, you? if we not organize internally, we will be limited as to how far we will go for take on the government. And that is why, even where we they challenge the government repeatedly, we they take on them on issues, we need strong executives at every level so that we challenge on government, not just limited in one layer. It go cascade to the lowest layer when our communities, everybody go know and then go able to challenge 
and take on this government for the way and manner in which then they take this country backwards. Mr. Tunis, before we go for that break, earlier you've been to talk about the party position as an opposition for old government accountable. You make mention of plenty issues the more you say when I don't they raise when I voice them on, but no, I know they get the kind of attention we when I need. Looking at the the opposition, APC as an opposition going further, what thing will be when I next stand in terms of communicating when I positions them to the government and also to partners them for make them know, say, okay, the APC as an opposition, this is not a position on national issues and how them for adhere to them. You get plenty way way you the whole government accountable. First, you they do direct engagement. We, of course, if something not happen, you go try for reach out to government as an opposition for no say, no, this is not right. We, we they suggest say, if we go so it go better. Something like that we don't try for do plenty term, either as an opposition, individually as APC, or even collectively as the consortium of progressive political parties. So we don't know, say, this government not ready for direct engagement. They're not create the room for that. And the second is we go put out press releases, we go hold press conferences, we go come on radio and talk about their issues then they and of course, you know, hoping that the government go change or go listen. That self we don't know, say this now an administration we just no one for listening, not just to opposition, even to the ordinary people. You know, where they cry out there for ensure it and see plenty of things happen the right way, whether constitutionally or, or otherwise. So we don't see, say, that one day self not they happen. And very soon, we go reach the third level. When I for ensure, say, we begin for mobilize the people of this country within the confines of the law for, for take on this government. You know, very soon we they reach that stage day. But for now, as opposition, we go continue for do what we they so, do so, you know, and and address issues, you know, we get for hinder on the progress and development of Sierra Leone. Talking about the third layer or third approach, looking at the past, what not be the approach of the opposition for engaged governments? I just named them. Like for example, when the APC began our power, you see plenty of them. Where something they happen, especially when there's something we get for do the na of, with national issue, where the opposition one goes certain where you go see the then president go call the leadership of the opposition, then sit down, then discuss, and at the end of the day you go see changes. But in this case, if opposition attempt on the many cases where opposition law attempt, you go see that and go molest leaders of political parties, then go you know, beat them out of the premises of the state house, then go send letters, you know, go even get a response. So, I mean, then kind of engagements and, you know, they happen. So, so we, don't we don't see, say, there. clearly, the first and second layer for this government, they no one listening. So we go very soon implement the third Mr. layer. Mr. Tunis, were there instances that we just make mention of? You think, say, the space don't open for now over the years as an opposition party because governance supposed for be inclusion, consultation with other opposition party them. The space very narrow. And even in terms of how government institutions then they work, you go see say enough favorable to opposition. You go see how expeditious, for example, the judiciary go deal with cases we get for do with anybody in the ruling government. But you go see how sometimes the delay go come in terms of opposition. You go see how quick the ACC go jump on cases where they feel say involve people in opposition. And you go see how the same ACC go come and defend um, cases where involve opposition, even where as blatant as they may be, then go come with excuses, oh, these are systemic failures, these are procedural failures. We don't ask this institution for amending systemic failures and procedural failures. You know, you go see, in fact, at certain stages, the cases that will go court, the same ACC will go back court, say, oh, we're not getting enough evidence, so they withdraw this case. When you indict, if you don't get enough evidence for indict the person and send and go court, 
when you send and go court, you know, go go back court and tell and say, we're not getting enough evidence, so we do withdraw this case. We don't they see all them you, kind of instances. Say, so about- it tells you that the democratic space, as far as it relates to opposition, is very narrow. And it will continue to be narrow under this administration unless and until we take drastic measures for change that you see that they so reach in there. You see that they begin implement um something we call as the third layer when I for mobilize the people them against this particular government for talk about issues them. Lawfully. Lawfully. When yes. they use the law for mobilize the people them against the government. Is it that now a new strategy for from the APC party? Considering, say, the country slowly they move to the next general election on a strategy that day? At the time they reach for lady people and get a voice, this is the time where the power of the people they speak. Now, I know reach so. The opposition, we don't they speak, and now it is time for people to speak. And me, we as opposition, we get for lead that movement day for redeem Sierra Leone, and we get for mobilize the people for redeem this nation. Already, they don't gains. They're fed up, and they need strong leadership. And that is why we, as opposition, soonest we need for organize ourselves as the main opposition. And as we get closer to that stage, day we they give the hope to the people of this country. Say we go redeem them, and we get to that level where we they constantly and continuously engage the public. So that we take on this government Una for stop them, for keep in them governance. in the track. Una take 10 years in government, governance. Did. Una not redeem the people and during the intending. The, why the APC feast it and now they will redeem the people? Kadija, 10 years of governance. The people of this country not ever see the kind of development we didn't see under APC inside that 10 years day. We come into this country, we don't even get up to 5 megawatts electricity supply. So why didn't we vote left this out? country for... Uh, why didn't we vote on a party out in 2018 with all the development here? Yeah. We all see the circumstances surrounding elections in 2018. That is a whole new chapter on your own. To this day, you will see the answer. So you know you will see the result constituency by constituency for presidential elections. Till today, nobody will able to see that. The Electoral Commission will be announced. The results for announce, the law say where you announce you for publish so that people go see Mr. the results constituency by constituency. We haven't seen that today. So the circumstances about 2018 elections are a whole different Mr. ball game. But the people of this country don't clearly see and they know clearly that the APC is by far a better political Mr. party as far as Mr. the development of Sierra Leone is concerned. And come 2023, we will redeem Salon back Mr. under the leadership Mr. of the Tunis, people's Congress. Mr. people concerned about this uh, third layer of the approach of the APC. Whose format did it take, though it's in a peaceful approach? Third layer is the people taking back their power. In which means? Under direct leadership. I just tell you, lawful means. Now, elections where they can't go to so. And this is time for people for speak and then get for speak. And let me say this, that nobody not going to stop them from speaking. When the people speak, what they say will be reflected. And that is we own responsibility as opposition party, that when the people speak, their voice reflected. And we go and sure say their voice reflected. Nobody not going to taint their voice. Uh, somebody will say the, the government in power come through the ballot box. And you're talking about the third approach for make people take back their power. You they refer to the ballot box? Or the I make I say lawful means. Which lawful means they? If you define lawful, I not talk anything on lawful. I say we they redeem back this country lawfully. And we they ensure that people take back their power lawfully. The things that more you don't mention as concern, as an opposition, now one way... The party in power now will say it's not new to them. And, and it's not new. Nothing will be done to happen while they themselves be in opposition. And when you talk about, when you ask Salome people, they will tell you, say, APC and SL people are the same. So, now the same issues them is over com- and over since it is completely different. When the APC can have power, we meet Wilkinson Road tight and rugged. We they take you two hours from Abadin Road for Rich Lomley. We change that. When we can have power, it will take you more than 12 hours for travel from Freetown to Bo. We change that. 
When we can have power, and it take you more than 24 hours for travel from Freetown to Kailan, we change that. When we can have power, we get less than 5 megawatts of electricity. We change that. When we can have power, the unemployment level in this country be high. We change that. When we can have power, the minimum wage in this country has been 25,000 leons. We change that to over 500,000 leons. So there is vast difference between the APC and the SLPP. When we can have power, we empower women. So many women get high positions in our offices. First Brigadier General, First Accountant General, First Auditor General, First Female you know, in uh, AIG, all of them things that they will do. These right. are what we call good governance. So there is vast difference. Okay. You know, in 10 years within our governance, the embezzlement will not happen under this administration you, you, in you one are, year. One the, year. The, the audit yeah. report just show one year, over $10 million. In the whole of 10 years of APC, we don't see that much cash loss. Okay. So there is vast difference between the APC and the SLPP. And these are the distinctions where we get for communicate to the people of this country. We go make them team up back and take them power. Uh, Mr. Tune is coming back to you earlier before we take that break. Day. You'll be outlining certain things them where you think say during on a um, administration 10 years will not be able to do. You make mention of roads where you call the Wilkinson Road. But then roads then they na, na one way um critique them don't they describe say na cosmetic roads them. And you also make mention of other issues them where you say go make the people them vote for on again after five years in opposition because according to you na una good for the people of Salon. Their issues then they enough for convince Salon people them back for bring una after we then kick una out in twenty eighteen. Their roads and they don't make your life much easy. And they make you they save a lot of money on your motor car. That is just one aspect of it. But let we, let we go beyond that. I mean, take health. Let we talk about health. We introduce what we call free health care. We ease burden on Bele Woman, and then we pick in where they sick frequently. Today, go now with hospitals. When we come, the hospitals been dilapidated. Former President Kruma go around this country. We rehabilitate, we construct new hospitals. Every district in this country, we construct medical store for ensure say, drugs then reach, supplies then they. We equip with theaters and we equip with hospitals. In so many health centers, we put solar energy and ensure say, then get cooling system for store like blood and other things. Then today go now with health facilities. Then things then they don't disappear. A dilapidated people they suffer for even get IV fluid. You know how many times are they get call from your hospital now, Pujon? Somebody go get malaria for even get drip. Pass you get for send money. Kumbra not even get access to them things anymore. So these are the things that we we do for the people of this country, for ease them body. Day no day, do not, day no day where you go grab na morning, where you know they expect, say, 1,500 or 500 or 1,000 don't add by a certain basic commodity in this country right okay. now. Day no day with that, they know they happen. So the people of this country know that. It was not like that during the APC. We've been able to do everything possible for cushioning the burden on the people of this country, for ease the burden on the people of this Mr. country. And uh, more Mr. importantly, more importantly, we will they do everything for ensure, say, we keep ourselves together as a nation. That inclusiveness, that national cohesion, for ensure, say, the man from the north able to talk to him, brother, at the south. That one day been there under the APC. We don't see that they disappear. Now we are being discriminated, we are being divided. The man in the south, they even find it difficult for talk to a brother in the north. That is not Sierra Leone. Not to that one day we want from the government. 
And these are the things we will get for oh. preach to the people of this country. For men and see that vast difference. So we will come back to that salon. We will all live in peace and unity. We will go and show say we work for the interest of the people of this country, not to for they take one million dollar go Lebanon. All right. So let we come back to the way forward for the APC. We will find them bring the APC party as um, an opposition for law can talk about governance and other issues and the way forward for the APC when I just come out to McKinney na on an emergency NAC meeting. Now earlier you talk about wait when they consider now now for begin all on a lower levels election them so to on a reach to the flag bearer election. And so many people them don't they come out, don't they show interest when now on a party member they say they want to lead the party for the twenty twenty three election. Even the flag bearer for the 2018 election still they show interest. But in get pending issues there right now with the ACC, where it they go through a court with all the issues then they, you think say it still get chance for compete with the other party member them for lead the party come 2023? Everybody get chance under this new constitution. And you know, clearly. You know, I don't want to talk on a matter where they court, but anybody will get sense enough. When you look at that matter, they, you know the reason behind it. What's the reason? And we, we uh, but uh, clearly in an elimination process. And, and we hope... Elimination And of we food. hope, say... Eliminate from the yes. I mean, they want to limit the man in chance for become the next president of this country. It is clear. But we hope the judiciary of this country will really show this nation... Waiting at justice, we they really pray for that. You we just, they, you they, just they, say they, for for become the next president of this country. We na a very strong statement. Is it that na again the APC party hopes say go able deliver no, for them twenty twenty three? No, anybody where they contest for flag bearer of the APC, get chance for win under this constitution. And clearly, anybody will go win the flag bearership of the APC. Now the next president of this country, and I can tell you for free, the people of this country go vote I mean, as the next president. And I make one for ensure say we give the people of this country a candidate. We good, we better, we get knowledge, we get experience, and we are ready for bring we together as a nation. For let we all work together and live up to the aspirations of the people of this country. When I foresee that we all develop and we provide better future for we picking them. Because as it is now, the future is bleak, we, the future we, is dark, the future is unpredictable and is scary to we, we as citizens we, 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 of this with that character, With that quality, all we don't call of a candidate with the APC Wangi, as a member of the party, would I can identify with that, that quality in the party? Everybody, Mr. Sefwe Sidoya, I will be a far better president than the one we will get now. Than I can tell you for free without hesitation. A lot of people. A far better president. So anybody the APC put, I can assure you, say it will be a far better president than the one we will get, we will get now. And the APC will be a, will produce far better government than the one we will get now. Mr. You, Mr. You, Tunis, you just make mention of. Um, Anybody where the APC give the flag bearer go automatically be the next president of Salon. And a lot of people them from on a party don't they show interest. Waiting the party on the leadership they do for ensure say what happened in 2018 where almost 28 candidates them that they become out for be the flag bearer. And many people be, believe say, that they don't have problems start as a party. Well, 2018 be different from now. I mean, now, of course, the constitution clear. You get criteria where you get for meet, for let you even qualify for run for that uh, flag bearer position the, na, na, na the party. So I sure say the number will be limited. And again, and, you know, going forward, I sure say, you know, we go put ourselves together as a party that we go be bold enough for look at people where they aspire for positions and really able, you know, make distinctions as to who that then go able to take me forward to that level they will we, we want for see. 
uh, we party go. So we get for be bold. We all get for be bold as members of the APC for call the shots and for really call things by their names and let people know that no, yes, you qualify, yes, you're a member, but we feel say this person can do better. So let we allow this person for move with the process. That is not to say we we'll close the democratic space on anything. No, but internally we for able for do then things then they so at the end of the day we and we go make sure say we get the best candidates then for represent we. Let me look at the plenty case the more you make mention of where the party don't undergo. You think say this in any way get impact on the party preparation to the 2023 election, especially when it comes to the flag bearership. APC na a very big political party. We get hundreds of people who qualify for various positions. So attacking or going after one person thinking that that will limit we as a party is a big mistake. Because by doing that, so then the next person will go come up with is even more robust than the person we will go after. So <laughs> not just a, 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 a big mistake that they make if that is in fact the intent of doing what they do. Thinking that if we go after that certain set of people, they also we go prevent APC from winning. No, we are a huge political party with membership spanning across the world. What it makes we get highly qualified people. We go be president. We go serve in different capacity. We go move this country forward. What, than what it makes CD Tunis convince the case, or thinks the case against Dr. Samura Kamara and for limitum for run for presidency. The circumstances around that case, they are not going to talk about that because, like I said, they did court. But uh, which I don't state, I don't state that. So it is up to the one that we care the matter go for proof and beyond reasonable doubt. So me not going to talk anything about that case, they did court. I don't go talk anything. According to you, Una, don't they come close for end all the issues them where the APC party they get? Waiting now, Una time frame say from this time to this time one for do all we lower levels election this time to this time we we'll do we flag bearer elections we don't get a timetable we know say we go get um we go get them um, in enough time uh for let we move forward and for let we put up a formidable campaign for 2023 we go make we come back na power and we they come back na power. That one there they assure you. So waiting on a new strategy where the people go see from I don't go put them out there. They're mad and they spy too much. So I know I'm put so, with strategy so, so, out there. Let them not spy we and make their own. So quick um Mr. Stunis, a text message here on the issue of the AFCON. Somebody, the Minister of Sport, they say Mr. Tunis is misinforming the public. And in the name of politics, let him go through the press release issued by the Minister of Finance through the finance, Financial Secretary, the Ministry of Sports, NSA. We are not giving $7 million. In fact, what we are budgeted for the entire tournament was about nearly $4 million. And the said amount was to be dispersed by tranches as the progresses in the competition. The first tranches dispersed was only $27 billion for the first group stage of the tournament inclusive the four friendly matches. So this is not the, uh, a challenge from the Minister of Sports and he puts the couple well, of ICE the, up let, say, let the to seven let the minister, million dollars. Let dollar. the Minister of Sports go get consultation with the Ministry of Finance, you know, for let them come back to the public as to how much they really spend, right. how much the Ministry of Finance disbursed for AFCON, and how much then as Ministry of Sports spend on AFCOM. Right. Let them go consult and let them put them out to the public. Let we know. No, if they the Ministry of Finance, press if release. If they feel say are they misinformed, me they gear now the authority. Are they challenge now? Let go to Ministry of Finance. Let them go sit down, All consult, right. and come to the public. Let them tell me how much they disburse, how much they spend. But I've come and almost really go to we play as them. Let we know as public. All right, quickly, Mr. Quickly, Mr. Tunis. When next again the public go hear from the APC party concerning on a lower level selection in preparation for get a new executive. Today we go PPRC. As soon as we cross this stage, and the constitution go into effect, hopefully within the next two weeks or so, 
we will come back to the public also after we rule in a court because okay. with a court we cannot do anything without the ruling so with the hope say and pray say uh, the right honorable justice adrian fisher will give you ruling we will make we progress as a party all right thank you very much it is for always visit. a pleasure thank you so very much for hosting me all right, that's the acting publicity sector for the All People's Congress APC party. CDA Atini, CBDA with winner the studio, they talk about the way forward for the APC as an opposition party after we then being commot Makin Usa the all an emergency NAC meeting Usa then being go grief for the PPRC who they know they may make after 11 objections they will some member then be make for seeking the new constitution. 